Okay. Uh, so I will talk now about uh, Quds Open University experience in establishing the online educational video library. But before that, I will give you uh, a short or a brief introduction about Quds Open University. Uh, the second slide, please. Uh, it is established in 1991 in Jerusalem, Palestine. It is the first in Palestine and the premier in the Arab world in adopting the, the philosophy of open education and open learning. It aims, its aim is delivering knowledge to all segments of society, like employee, employees, workers, farmers, housewives, and fresh secondary education graduates, as, as it is an open education. Uh, the number of the enrolled students is 60,286 in the second semester <coughs> this year. Uh, the university keeps a rest of technological and cognitive advances at a global level to support lifelong learning. Uh, it has the most extensive and elaborate technology network in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Uh, this is the, uh, the map of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Uh, just a click. Uh, the university has 22 educational branches in Palestine, in addition to three branches abroad. Uh, a curriculum development center in Jordan and two branches in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have uh, so far uh, six faculties. As you see, the blue one, Faculty of Education, it is the, the big one. What, what happened? It's the biggest one, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Management and Economics Sciences, Faculty of Social and Family Development, Faculty of Technology and Applied Sciences, we offer also teaching diploma in addition to the County of Agriculture. Uh, we use uh, these so far, we use the blended learning uh, and we use the open source model and all that so far. Yes. Uh, also we have uh, streaming, uh, streaming videos online. We have the um, we we uh, here, videos are, are streamed online for students. The next slide, please. Also, recently we have the uh, web TV. We also um, transmit uh, many lectures and events on this site. Also, we use the virtual classes technology by using the Illuminate um, virtual uh, classrooms. This is a snapshot from this virtual class. Yes, the next one please. And we have also the video conferencing technology at our the branches. This is the university academic uh, portal that, that students can uh, can use them for for uh, exchanging with their supervisors. The next one, please. And also we have uh, Avicenna Knowledge Center. In addition, 842 educational videos have been produced by the Educational Media Production Center in cooperation with the academic department at the University of Support and the University to support the learning materials to enhance the student's learning. <coughs> also, uh, computerization of exams and assignments through the establishment of a question banks, a, qu a questions bank in accordance with appropriate psychometric standards. This is performed by the Measurement and Evaluation Center at the University. Uh, also, we at the university provide continuous institutional capacity building opportunities for staff and faculty in good practices in open education and also provide training and support for the students 
for dealing with the virtual learning environments. And in general, the university works toward delivering all the courses uh, at the university um, electronically using uh, blended learning environments. Examples of blended learning used so far at the university, we have the e-template, we have the e-activities, and we have what do we call virtual face-to-face -face meetings. These are examples of uh, the blended learning uh, methods we use at our university. Uh, now, I will uh, talk about um, the main subject, which is the online educational video library. This is the URL, as you see on the top. The next slide, please. Uh, it is a computerized video library for the teaching learning situations prepared basically to support the teachers' education programs at the Hoods Open University and the University College for Educational Sciences in the Palestinian territories. Uh, it is a prominent educational achievement emerged from a joint project between the Hoods Open University and the University College for Educational Sciences and funded by the European Commission and the World Bank through the Quality Improvement Fund in the Palestinian Ministry of Education and Higher Education with a total budget of $350,000. The pre-service teachers who have been studying at the Faculty of Education at the Kutsoma University, uh, there are around 300,000, sorry, 30,000, in addition to their counterparts at the University College of Education Sciences, estimated by more than 1,000, are the library basic target groups. Uh, they can watch these educational videos out of time and place borders to enhance their teaching skills and important power them as future teachers. Um, okay, I will now uh, show you a short video introductory video about this uh, library. the teacher's education programs at Al-Quds Open University and the University College for Educational Sciences. The pre-service teachers who have been studying at education program at Al-Quds Open University estimated by 30,000 in addition to their counterparts at the University College for Educational Sciences estimated by more than 1,000 are the library basic target group stakeholders and beneficiaries. They can watch these educational videos out of time and place borders to enhance their teaching skills and empower them as future teachers. such as pre-service teachers from the Palestinian universities and even from Arab and universal <coughs> universities can, in later phases, benefit from this library as well as the pre-service teachers in Palestine who want to develop and enhance their teaching and research proficiencies. So far, 62 short educational videos have been produced with a duration of 5 to 10 minutes for each film.
intention of increasing the number of these educational videos is very probable in the near future. The educational video library is a prominent educational achievement emerged from a joint project between Al-Quds Open University and the University College for Educational Sciences and funded by the European Commission and the World Bank through the Quality Improvement Fund in the Palestinian Ministry of Education and Higher Education with a total budget of 350,000 US dollars. The mentioned project went through many stages of repairing, evaluating, and editing the educational content materials which were produced by 23 educationalists. The final production of these educational videos was undertaken by Penn Media, educational media company. The project, along its duration from January 2009 till the end of October 2010, was intensively monitored and supervised by an administrative committee headed by Dr. Nader Abu Khalaf, Director of Education Program at Al-Quds Open University and a membership of Ms. Amal Saleh Natshe, Assistant of Education Program Director at Al-Quds Open University, Dr. Munir Sarhan and Dr. Majdi Zamel from the University College for Educational Sciences. The project was also managed by Mr. Basim Rothman, Project Director, and Mr. Ashraf Nakshe, Project Financial and Administrative Assistant. So, um, I, with this, I think I'm finished with, the, with this video. Any questions? That's it. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm the first person to invite you for the conference. So, you know. Yes, I. I guess so, you are. <laughs> so my first, my question is: um, so in your video library, I saw some videos of classroom teaching, um, or something that created in the classroom. Could you say something about how a teacher in your program would use those videos? Okay. Uh, they can watch these, uh, these videos at any time they want. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we have a teaching practicum at the university. They enroll in this, uh, uh, in this course. And uh, we have uh, a theoretical part for this course and also a practical. So, uh, they can benefit from, uh, from in enhancing their skills in the practical part by watching first uh, these educational videos before going inside uh, in the field, before practicing the real, uh, the real teaching uh, situation. So uh, we are, we have been uh, conducting a research uh, this semester for uh, to test or to investigate the effectiveness of these educational videos on the, uh, the performance of these students' uh, skills. So, we are testing this. But so far, uh, still 62 educational films in addition to, in addition to uh, 42 live uh, shots from classrooms. Uh, maybe uh, difficulty of 
go in the sorry. Usually so when you go to schools and they can they have a simple a simple video camera and they can uh, record they can record uh, uh, snap snapshots from the field and we can upload these we can upload uh, yes, okay. yeah. and we upload these videos into this website and uh, our students can watch these videos at any time and of course uh, they watch uh, when they watch them they will learn how the teacher uh, moves the real teacher I mean the professional teacher and the classroom how they will deal with the classroom uh, how uh, to prepare lessons before uh, practicing uh, the real uh, the real uh, profession as teachers yes saying they can watch the videos? Do you not make it obligatory for them to watch the videos if you watch a certain number of the videos or is it just... No, it is, not, it is not an obligatory. It's uh, free. It's an open education. If they, if they want, it's up to them. But uh, for us, uh, we, we, as I told you, as I told you all, we are, uh, we have been conducting a research on the uh, the, 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 the group of the students who watch these videos and benefit from them to investigate its effectiveness. But in the end, it's uh, optional. It's an open education. It's not obligatory. Yes, please. Do you have any basic usage statistics? How much these are used? Are they watched uh, Yes, yes, we have, uh, I don't remember, the <coughs> special software for tracking uh, the visitors for um, for this website, uh, the, the special uh, the special program can tell us uh, from uh, from from where the visitors inside the university or outside and from which country. So we can uh, we can know what is the percentage uh, from our students who watch this. Uh, these videos. Also in the student, uh, university labs. At the university labs, uh, students can use these, uh, can use uh, computer labs to, to watch uh, uh, these videos. Anybody else? Other questions? Okay, thank you very much.